I had a question earlier on today and a special shout out to Emmanuel who asked me about transitions and that's why I'm making this video. So what you'll see on screen to start with is a title and this is video 32 purely about how to use transitions in PowerDirector. Video 33, the next video, will be how to use transitions but how to use them in a way almost like a philosophy post about why you should use them, what makes a good transition, if nothing, to all just don't use them. Getting stuck in here, let me show you what we've got loaded on the timeline, and then this is about how to use transitions. So you'll see at the moment, we're in PowerDirector, and you can see there's a gray slide with some yellow text. When it goes through, there you go to a darker slide, there is a lightning bolt thing here with a little bit of transition that offers you. If you played the whole thing, then you can see the text, which is static, and then three, two, one, change. And there it is. So how do we get a transition from one gray to the other? We click on it, and there you are with all of the transitions. Now, if you want to preview a transition, then you can hit the play button, and it shows you that there is a binary from a yellowy blue or blue and yellow, and then you click it once more, and you go back. Now, what I can say on this is if you go through, and they can be quite attractive and tempting to use, and remember this is how to do it, not why we do it. So the ones that I may use, and I'll tell you the ones that I'm favorite with, I'm starting to use blur because it's quite a good way. And the other one that's my absolutely probably nine times out of 10 is a simple fade and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So the thing is that when we move along, we've got lots of them, and I suggest that you go through and have a good old look and see what works for you. So getting stuck into the fade in this example, what I'm going to do is just before I do that, I'm gonna do something else, and I'm gonna go up to settings, and in settings, I'm going to have a look of what my default transition duration is it can be set down from a minimum of 0 0.1 seconds all the way up to the maximum of four seconds so what i normally do is have it set up to 1.0 more recently i was making a video series and i had to do it quicker and it was 0 0.5 so i'm going to leave it and notice this one and click OK. Now the moment I go back and I select our transition in the middle here for fade and I say yes I would like that plus it drops itself down on the timeline. All we need to do there is go back and then play it and there is a transition through. Now watch this because it's a bit more um, emphatic if you like and that is that if you go through on this grey let me just make, make the timeline wider. I'm just pinch zooming here just to show you. We've got a dark gray slide, and then I'm going through to a very hard landscape. Now that's pretty, um, you know, very dark to very light. So to play it with a, there it is, it's called a jump cut where there is no transition, it just goes from one to the other. Let's see what we could look for. If I wanted to do, should we say, a long fade, I could hit the fade, I know that I've got a second, and I go back because that was the default. By the way, if you click the transition and then click on the timer top right, it brings up a screen that says 1.0 because that's what we have set, and then you've got an apply to all transitions. I rarely use that because I, I do a timeline edit from left to right, and I'm, I'm kind of looking at the emotion and the conveyance of the idea each particular one. My point really is that you can dial down, look to the 0 0.1, you can dial up to the 4, I don't think which I've ever used, um, and I'm gonna bring it back to the 1 and click OK. So go back and just play it. You see, see what happens there is that it was a bit quick, wasn't it? But let's, let's play it again. Dark gray, dark gray, and it just fades up. Okay, that was it. Now for the next one, I'm going to, because I'm nearly done on this video, there's not much to say really, and that is that I've gone from this landscape slide going into a morning walk where there was a big buzzard in that, that tallest tree there, and I was stood around lovely, beautiful morning, 1st of September. Now the point is, if I click it, 
then what I can do, and I'll just, just demo this, is if I look at, say, something like a film roll here, and I'm just going to play it, and it kind of like goes like that. Now this is a good example, remember, of what not to do. When I say what not to do is if I use it, oh, and you notice that what I did is I, I played it, but I haven't selected where it's got to go. If you do that, say, oh, I love that one, I want to use it. You get a pop-up, select which transition placeholder to put it on. Now I select it and it goes a bright green and it knows where to attach itself and click and go in. Then you can go back, and I always go back here, there is a play button uh, on the right as well, play, and it moves it over. Now that is a bit quick, I'm, I'm not saying this is the, the right or the wrong thing to do because that's the next video. Oh, hold on a second. If I go back here and I wish to do the time, and let's just take a four seconds and see what happens. And a, a lot of experimenting, so, so watch, we've got the, let's play it all. So we go in, we've got the fade from dark grey, and a move across. Okay, that was it. Let me see if I want to change this for something totally different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slide right to the right, and you can see that it ends on the right-hand side with X-ray, which is fine. I'm going to go to the left-hand side, and the question that Emmanuel asked this morning was how do you get more and show more? So if you go into get more, then what happens is there is a padlock area comes up, which the ones that you actually purchase, or sometimes you can get a, like a little preview of them. And what I'm getting at here is that if I go through to say um, 3D likes, so if I click it, this is one I've not purchased, but these are extras, you can go in and you can see that they're 99 UK pence, which is quite a cheap thing, quite honestly. Um, and then you can see the, the ones that are previewing. If I hit play demo, then I can get, notice this is a YouTube video with a little bit of music from official power director. And they just, just play them. I'm just going to come back one screen. And then notice that when you come back from the ones that you have not purchased, I will say, actually, that's lovely, but n not today, thank you very much. And I hit no thanks. And then it will still say, watch the ad and check out the app. You can actually unlock the pack for a limited time, which I've done once or twice. But I'm going to say no thanks. But the ones I really like or I purchased this morning, and that is the 3D... Um, pack here, which is pretty interesting because the one that I used actually in the previous video about um, screenshots was, was this one here and so what happens is that it unbreaks like that. Maybe, maybe you know, mathematically to me it's appealing, I, I, I don't know, but I've used that one and there is, this, this one's not bad as well I think actually to signpost something so you can go in to play that one and you've got this sort of thing that's that's going around very time consuming um, in terms of if you're making a video which is say 30 seconds long and you're using five transitions you just wasted possibly five to ten seconds of your video but anyway the point of this is let's wrap this up to say that you can have a play with around with these that's how you do these transitions and then on the next part we will go and look exactly of how I use them which is video 33 and it's why use transitions, what makes a good transition. And my tip is that if you don't need anything at all, just don't use them, you know, because especially if you're on a limited time. But let's um, finish that. Thank you very much for AZ Screen Recorder. I'm doing this in one take, three, two, one, stop.